Hello world good morning good afternoon good evening welcome back to Robothot 02 hero series C C++ coding using Arduino Mega Arduino Uno Arduino Nano whatever the series of Arduino you want to use you can still use any of the versions of Arduino to learn C C++ programming all right guys we are on lesson number 42 and i am going to talk about show you the output into a liquid crystal display how you can send the output from your arduino to display that message into the lcd screen right so we are basically going to use that 64 bit and 32 bit or 8 bit lcd screen which is you know small in size which is available uh, let me just show you to you how it looks like so that you guys will have an idea what i am talking about so something like this guys this is generally available anywhere in the market or online or it comes with your arduino kit when you buy the entire arduino set right so this kind of lcd we can use it for this particular lesson and this is very useful and handy for uh, when you start building a robotics application and uh, stuff like that so i'll i will tell you how it has been used all right so for now what what we will do is we will go ahead and use this and i will talk about talk a bit about uh, what what exactly it does so the lcd this particular screen is a type of display that uses the liquid crystal for its operations all right here we, we will accept <coughs> we will basically use the serial input from the computer where you connect your arduino through a serial port and upload the c program into arduino the characters will be whatever the characters you set in it displays on this particular lcd all right the, there, there are specific libraries i am also going to talk about libraries in the future lesson but for now you can just think as library as a combined file that allows us to control the lcd display and the library is called liquid crystal display so if you go to your arduino ide i will also show you how to uh, download the lcd within your arduino ide itself and and then update it right it, it, it's pretty simple and straightforward however if you have downloaded the latest version of arduino ide some of this basic libraries comes in build pre-installed so you don't have to worry about it so i'll show you how to do that right so the library is based on a compatible chipset called hitachi hd44784 so you don't have to remember this but it is found on most of the lcds that are based on text it works with either a 8-bit or a 4-bit mode here the bit mode signifies the data lines in addition to the uh, enable pins now let me show you what what the pin configuration looks like in your uh, lcd display so these are the basic the, if you see the picture behind me uh, these are the basic picture configuration the lcd display has basically 16 different pin interface the liquid crystal display has a parallel interface okay it means that your microcontroller either arduino or any other microcontroller you might use operates several pins at once to control the lcd display so uh, if you look at the pins written here the 16 pins represent on the lcd displays are something like rs for example the first the rs rs stands for register select okay it's called register select pin which controls the memory of the lcd in which we write the data okay we can select either a data register or a instruction register now you don't have to worry about what is data register or an instruction register i will talk about that in in the future lessons but for now you need to understand what that rs pin means the lcd looks for specific in upcoming instruction which is present in the instruction register that is what is called the instruction register and a data register but the rs the symbol which is written on the lcd it stands for register select the next one is rw that is read write pin selects the reading or writing mode that is the rw pin and the next one is e pin it's written as e so e means enable enable mode which is used to enable the writing to your register right it sends the data to the data pins when the mode is high when you write in your code high and low that is how this e pin enables 
and the next and the following pins are d0 to d7 which are basically these are eight data pins numbered as d0 1 d2 d3 d4 d5 till d7 all those pins you can see in the drawing below above uh, we can set the state of the data pin either high or low high means one low means zero right so the pin one of lcd is the ground pin okay and the pin 2 is the VCC pin which is basically your uh, positive uh, terminal. So you got to remember that right. The pin configurations are pretty straightforward or you can call it as a voltage source pin. The VCC is also called as voltage source pin. Uh, the pin number 3 of LCD is the VEE or contrast pin basically. For example, we can connect the uh, potentiometer a variable resistor. Uh, to set the output to the VEE and, and adjust the contrast of the LCD by rotating up and down forward and backward right. So that's how the potentiometer or you can call it as a variable resistor works in LCD. Uh, and the pin A and K and the last pin A and K pins are also called as backlight pins backlight plus and backlight minus that's 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 the naming convention for A and K. Now, how does the what is the principle of LCD? So the process includes putting the data basically to be displayed on the LCD screen, right? You, you can see I just showed you on the circuit into the data register. The instructions in the register basically select are kept in the instruction register inside the liquid crystal display or LCD library. Uh, which you import into your IDE has simplified very simplified process to display the characters on that particular LCD so it, it makes our job more easy and the LCD can be controlled in 4 bit or 8 bit modes which requires 7 and 11 input or output pins from the particular Arduino board we can I, I'll show you how to configure that right now so let's move on to the circuit drawing you can probably pause this video and you can plug in the uh, wiring like this so this is your potentiometer so the so the potentiometer variable resistor has three pins the middle pin is the data pin and the left and right pin is the positive and the negative terminal that is your vcc and ground so uh, so it's, it's a pretty straightforward uh, connection guys basically we need to first connect the data pin of the lcd to the digital pins and after that connect the rs pin of lcd to the pin number 13 of arduino board and then connect the enable pin which i talked about before what is an enable pin of an lcd to pin number 12 of arduino board and then connect the pin number the, the d4 pin of lcd to pin number 6 of arduino board and then you can plug in D5 to LCD pin of pin number 4. I am just reading through the circuit diagram which you are seeing behind me. So as per the circuit drawing, this is what it is. And then you will have to connect the D6 pin of LCD to pin number 3 of Arduino board. And then as per this drawing, if you can see the D7 pin of LCD to pin number 2 of Arduino. And then the middle, the connect the middle terminal of the potentiometer, the variable resistor to the VEE contrast pin of LCD. Okay. And then connect the two ends of the potentiometer that is the positive terminal and the ground terminal, right? To the ground and 5 volt, 5 volt of your, uh, 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 your Arduino. Connect one end of the, take any resistor like 330 ohms or 220 ohms. It's basically a current limiting resistor connected to A and K of LCD and another end to 5 volt. So it's very simple uh, circuit guys though it might take time for the beginners to understand but put your hand and try to do things practically this will help you build this further. Alright guys now let's do some coding and I will go to my IDE. Let's write some simple uh, program here. So let me just delete this and I will show you a very simple program so that we can display some start displaying some text. Let's include one second. I hope you guys can see my IDE. Yes, you are able to see. Now, how do we include a library? You need to use the hashtag hash include hash include with the arrow key inside let me give a space okay here l i q u i d liquid c uppercase 
liquid crystal dot h there you go the color changes the happy color of orange or red which means the library exists so in case if you don't find the library all you need to do is go to sketch go to include library go to manage library and from the manage library let the window open here you can type right can you see the space here if you type say for example liquid l i q u i d yes liquid crystal there you go if i type crystal you can see multiple libraries here related to you can install one so currently for me it says that i have installed the adafruit version 1.10.6 so you may install any of this say the liquid crystal next one there are two libraries you can install what you need to just click here install install button here and that will automatically install for you it's very simple guys so now once you install the library you need to uh, basically here we will include the liquid crystal library on the ide so how do we include that is hash include that is how it is and then we need to initialize the library with the pins on the arduino board as per the circuit drawing how we plugged in right so let's look into how we do that liquid liquid crystal liquid crystal lcd like this and then in that we need to include pin number 13 pin number 12 pin number 6 pin number 4 pin number 3 pin number 2 all right and then what we will do once this is done we need to do a one time setup so void let me just give a space void setup okay and in this setup function here uh, 16 and 2 are the columns and rows of the lcd so let's say uh, yeah, let me just wide setup let's say lcd dot b e g i n like this lcd begin uh, the 16 pin number 16 and 2 are the columns and rows of the LCD. So that is the configuration which I showed you uh, just few minutes back. 16 comma 2 like this and a semicolon. Once you put the semicolon then we need to initiate a print. So let's say LCD dot print. Now what do you want to print? You can put the text in your uh, double quote say let's say uh, hello Avengers like this okay semicolon and then once you finish this you need to come out of this uh, curly bracket and go to void loop say void loop close the function and then open a curly bracket and then inside the curly bracket here we need to set the cursor right so we need to set the cursor to column 0 and line 1 since the counting begins with 0 and line 1 is the second row of the lcd there are two rows in the lcd so what we need to do is lcd dot set cursor set cursor to what zero comma one like this and a semicolon and now let's print the number of seconds between the cursor so how do we do that lcd dot print uh, say millisecond lcd dot print uh, millisecond close the function and let's divide that by 1000 like this so this will here the milli is basically the written type of the timer in milliseconds it's an inbuilt function within Arduino so it, it, it's a timer it's a timer function so nothing to worry about it now let's see if this code works guys let me just compile
it's compiling done compiling without error and now let me upload the sketch all right there you go cool all right guys i can see hello avengers let me just yup i can see but it's not bright enough let me just share my circuit there you go now if you can see this i think it's not bright enough maybe you can you need to just adjust the lcd with this potentiometer okay i understand what's the problem let me also plug in a battery so you can you can use uh, a, any of this rechargeable uh, batteries guys it's available we can just plug in the battery and see what happens there you go all right can you see that hello avengers so the text is printing on the lcd so beautiful now you can imagine the amount number of applications you can apply in your robot or iot applications using this lcd how you can print certain information which is required for you to read and understand can you see this guys how it prints you can do multiple uh, aspects of printing as well you can detect uh, the sensor reading from from any of the sensors and uh, start streaming those information of the uh, the gathered information from the sensor and stream into this lcd so it's everything is possible all right guys so this works pretty good now what we need to do in the upcoming videos i am going to talk about how we can use this lcd for iot projects and robotics projects and different other you know devices you can you can just play around right so guys do practice 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 if you have any questions do leave a comment and i'll be happy to explain each and everything for you all right guys i am going to be back soon do give me a thumbs up and a like goodbye